Yep, here we are. 9.28. All set up. We've got the candy canes and a minion train and a snowman over there. The Christmas tree. And then you got the hobby horse and some presents and a Mickey wreath and a Christmas tree that'll cut you and then the hippo. And of course you got the lights hanging off the awning over there. Pretty sweet. Let's go ride around some of the loops and see what we can see, see what's left of the Christmas decorations. Since we're after Christmas and after New Year's at this point, so let's see what else is out there. Yep, looks like he's tearing down and going home, but there's the Star Wars display. He had them all set up out here by the trash cans and a big display, but uh, now they're all standing in formation by the camper. Still pretty cool looking. Well, check that out. Turkey dinner walking across the campground road. Turkey's doing turkey stuff. So on the back side of the 300 loop is this here barn looking deal sitting on stilts on the other side of the canal and according to the guy on the Segway tour he said that there was uh, he gave a number how many bats there are I forget exactly what the number was I know it was more than 200 I want to say it was 2 million bats but that seems like an awful lot of bats to me but then again that's a pretty big bat house so anyway that's pretty cool I guess that's one of the ways they keep the mosquitoes down in Fort Wilderness a little bit of a roadblock here Check this guy's sight out. Pretty tastefully done. Brought his own little street lamps in to line the edges of his thing, driveway, parking pad thing. It's pretty cool. Wandering around the fort here a little bit, looking around, we found the gem washing station. This is new. It's got a water tower here with the water coming down. And kind of got a kind of a sluice box looking type deal nothing in it right now you got to buy a bag of gem enriched pay dirt I guess you dump it in there or kind of take out some handfuls maybe and kind of let the water wash the sand away or the dirt and uh, you evidently can get some real gems out of it according to this you can purchase uh, bags from various different places the USA Mexico Brazil India China Egypt Australia and so on kind of tells you what to do and then over here, kind of has a, what they call it the assay station, tells you what kind of gems you might find. Or I guess you can compare what you find to what's on the chart there to tell you what you found. It's pretty cool. If you're curious where it is, that's the Meadow Trading Post. And then right there is the bridge from the Meadow Trading Post. And over here is the bike barn. So it kind of give you an idea of where it's at. That's pretty neat. Came down to the settlement at the fort, check out the decorations, and they're still up. Still a couple of days after uh, New Year's. There's the Christmas tree. Of course, you can see the lights over there on uh, the trading post. Pioneer Hall, their decorations are still up, but they're not lit up. And then over there on the uh, DVC Disney Vacation Club kiosk, they still got lights there too. So they're still up, still playing Christmas music. A couple more days yet. <laughs> 